How's it going, guys? This is Muftar again. How was your week? I was I was last week. I was uh, I was previous weeks before. If if you have been following our analysis um, from from the past week, you should be having very 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 good times. So the USD card, for example, um, I think it's two hundred and thirty pips. You know. For for a week's wait, I I think it totally makes sense to get 230 pips and be okay with it. And it still has further downside to go, but I decided to cut my my profits uh, around here. So whatever whatever that's left, um, I mean, let it run. You can't always get everything in the market. So so USD card has been good. Uh, USD CHF two is playing out very well now. If you've been following the analysis from last week, you, you should be having a very good time. Uh, today, we'll, we'll begin with uh, the euro, the euro dollar. I uh, haven't taken a look at this pair for a while. Uh, so from what you can see on the on the weekly time frame, uh, you see that it's very, very bullish. And the monthly also, you see the monthly candle looking, looking sharp. Very, very bullish, very, very bullish. And this might probably close this way by the end of the month uh, and go off in the, um, the previous week's candle. But if it doesn't, it's, it, it's, uh, it's a very, very, um, uh, it will be a very, very good indicator that the bears are coming in on this pair. Um, so first of all, since you've identified the the direction as bullish on the on the bigger time frame, you want to um, see how you can play it on the smaller time frame, and that's what we've done here. You can see um, it's a wedge. Uh, the breakout is a wedge right here. The breakout and the ongoing tensions in the uh, in in Britain about the the Brexit. I mean, it's it's to cause a lot of uncertainty uh, in this pair and the pound also. So you you also be very careful. Um. So what I'll be looking at for this week uh, as a swing trader, it's uh, I think this is 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 quite at the right place to to sell, but I wouldn't be selling at this place. Um, I'm still waiting for further up move to this side. Uh, so when that happens, I want to be looking for a good risk to reward around here. If my setup brings a good risk to reward, I'm going to get in and and see how it plays to this side first. Um. So for now, be careful. I mean, um, today's Monday. A lot of activity. People are um, traders to start digesting what happened um, in Britain in the, on, on Saturday. So this is how I'll be playing mine. I'm waiting patiently for it to get to my level before. So for now, for swing, for, for intraday traders, I mean, you should also be looking for for sales, really, because it's it's at a resistance level right now. The the euro dollar the resistance level, and if if I get a good risk to reward, that is when I'm going to enter. So let's say I get uh, seventy pips, eighty pips, eighty one sixty, fine. So everyone should be careful with this um, euro. Um, the pound also. Um, I don't have much this week. Last week was very, very good, and some are still playing well. So, like I said in the previous videos, whenever I'm in, uh, whenever we are in, um, in good positions, um, in profit, you don't like chasing. Um, you, you don't want to chase any other setups, and. One thing I've learned is, as a trader, you have to know when to be offensive with your trading and when to be defensive with your trading. It's almost getting to the close of the month. I'm not looking to give my profits away. So I, I just trade um, very, very small. 
Um, so the pound also, pound um, USD. You can see on the weekly, there's a good, good breakout, very strong breakout. Um, the pound also, I'll be waiting patiently, patiently waiting for it to get to um, this level before I look for any short opportunity because I'm a swing trader. That's why I'm doing this. If you're a day trader, you, you want to wait for a retracement of this to like here. Right, because there's a breakout. So you want to be looking for a retest of the trend line. So based on your discretion and your strategy, you need to look for, for flags. Most people wait for flags. And what I mean by flags are something like this. So you look for a consolidative pattern inside the flag. Same thing applies around here. And what will work for me is if before this um, pound USD gets to, um, before it gets to this place, uh, if it does a move like this, I'll be glad to buy it to the top side. But for now, it's still at the top side and it looks more as if it's going to retest a little bit before it goes to the upside. So that's a pound USD for me. Uh, that's, this is a weekly time frame. Let me just go into the daily time frame and see what we can find. So basically, these are zones where you should be expecting retracement um, back to the top side. Be waiting patiently because of the Brexit uncertainty. There'll be a lot of activity this week. So this pair might, might dip my dip down if you have if you don't have very good risk management or if you don't have very good capital you should try and stay away from pounds uh, this week for your own sake it will be very very volatile this week it's a lack direction so the, the US market isn't open yet, so there's no activity, there's no much activity yet in the market. The US market opens, you can see a lot of activity. That's for the pound USD. Um, the pound AUD, also kind of kind of the same thing, really. But the pound AUD, I would I would look for a short as I've marked this resistance level. This, this zones. See this, there's a double top right here for me. But I want this to come around here and go back and retest. Because right now I'm not very sure. Overall, I think it's still very bullish on the weekly and the monthly. I think it's going to continue up. But what is going to change my mind is if it gets a good comeback here and it holds around here. Sorry. Then you can look too short, maybe to the trend line or the 61.8 level of the whole retracement. Can you see that? That's the two ways I'll be playing this. Of course, this is a pound also, so you have to be very careful. It will be very, very volatile this week. If you don't have enough capital, just, just stay away from the pound. And another scenario that could play out is, is a flag also around here. But I still think it's very, very bullish. This this could be what might happen this week on the on the Euro AUD. So no concrete no concrete signals no concrete signals at all. Uh, the pounds will be very very dicey for those who will be trading it. So guys, be very careful out there and uh, use risk management. Use a lot of risk management. Be, be disciplined about your risk management. All right. So this is a, this is a Euro pound. Sorry, uh, the pound AUD. Um, 
the U.S. is chef doing greatly, greatly, greatly well. Um, pound USD, Euro USD, and the Euro AUDS. We were discussing it last week, and it's still playing out very, very well. So we we said it was going to um, it was going to to retest uh, the sixty one point eight level of of the the swing right here. I might see a very, very good corrective downside there. Um, the weekly might play out very well. So for those who missed it, like I did, because I was in other positions, I would strictly, strictly be waiting for a retracement to the upside. Here. Can I say here? Remember in the last video I said there might be setups. Setups are different from entries. You might get a setup, but when it it is when it fits your entry criteria that you want to enter. You need to know why you enter. Although you get a setup, you need to know why you enter the trade. So if I get my entry here, I'm going to go in. And if I get it here also, retrace to the upside again. I'm going to go in. This is what I'm waiting for this week, really. But for me, it looks like it wants to break the the wedge. Uh, but I, I I hope not. But if it does break. Um, the breakout traders should be getting a lot of this when it breaks to the downside. The breakout traders should be getting in, in a lot of the action when it gets to the downside. Um, I mean, basically, that would be it. For, for a string trader that I am, I wouldn't enter into this breakout. Some people would, but as for my own game plan, I don't go into breakouts um, just like this. Right. So basically, that's that's about it, guys. Um, but I really hope this um, this goes back to the top side. I do, I do really hope so. And I think it would actually. So guys, um, I think I think that's all for this week. Um, check out the previous videos. There are still some setups playing now. Check out the previous videos. The link will be just right after this video. Just check it out and and see how we've been doing from last week. All right, guys, see you same time um, next week, guys. If you have any questions, please drop you in the comment section. Like, subscribe to the videos, and, and share share if you think um, it's, it's useful. Okay, guys, take care.